and Oscar winner John Voight, who sat down with Jeffrey Lyons. That interview is coming up next. Who said that? You said that. And uh, you've got something on your mantelpiece that Kirk Douglas never got, that uh, Greta Garbo never got. It's coming in September Dawn. That's a shocking historical drama about a massacre in the Old West. Just another entry in the impressive long resume of this Oscar-winning star. Good to see you again. It's great to see you. Uh, Do you ever sit in the theater? I asked this of Christopher Walken. You two are in an exclusive club, very, very exclusive club. When you come on in a movie, there's a buzz that goes around the theater. Oh, if it's a good film or a bad, whatever. I don't know if you've ever seen that experience. Are you aware of that? I don't, uh, no, I, I'm not uh -huh. aware of that, but that's nice to hear. Yeah. You've played historical figures before in September Dawn, you, you, you do, and it's about an incident that history really has kind of glossed over. Mm -hmm. When you get something like that, are your energies geared more towards the script and getting the character right, or do you go back and study it? It would be okay oh, not oh, to both. do that. Some oh, people no, don't. No, no, both. If I get a script like that, especially this script, which I read in one sitting because it was so riveting and powerful, and then, of course, I had to find out if it was authentic. And so I go, you go on the Met with the web and you look up Mountain Meadows Massacre and you get a, a whole bunch of hits. And it's a very well documented event, uh, actually, but it's been kept away from you know, the general public's view for some reason, you know. I've known you over the course of more than four decades. Mm -hmm. In 1973, here's an old quote. Now, old quotes are unfair, but still, quote, <laughs> well, as an sorry. actor, I'll always be a middleweight, never a heavyweight. Well, you've got something. Who said that? You said that. And uh, you've did. got something on your mantelpiece that Kirk Douglas never got, that uh, Greta Garbo never got, oh, that wow. Dietrich never got, that uh, Cary Grant never got to win an Academy well, Award. it just shows you, you know what I mean, that it's, uh, there's something unfair going on. <laughs> All right. Where is the Oscar? now as we speak and, and as we did, speak yeah. it used to be on my I, my mom had it I gave it to my mother right away and she used to d decorate her house for Christmas and she got a big fish bowl and she put lights under it with marbles and Christmas tree ornaments around there and when people came into the house she decorated the whole house but she put that right next to the door when people came in she said you want to hold the Oscar there it is pick it up now come on in <laughs> well, Peter Houston up would keep his in the bathroom and David O. Selznick said what is that for he said what other room can you contemplate it and just move it around by yourself and just <laughs> now when you're dealing with a historical figure as with September Dawn it doesn't mm -hmm. matter if you look exactly like this character but you've had an ultimate challenge from everybody from Howard Cosell to FDR yeah, to okay, Adolf yeah. Rupp mm -hmm. do you worry that sometimes people will realize that you're doing other things besides trying just to look exactly like that person it's what you say that's as important yes well I, uh, obviously with, with those characters that you mentioned like Howard and, and uh, F, uh, you know and uh, FDR, the, uh, they're icons. We know them right. very well. If if you don't make an effort to look like them, you know it will be distracting. So it's it's best to say, yes, that's who it is. Okay, we take care of that. Now we go to do the work. Your dad was a storytelling golf pro. That's exactly another right. story. What's a storytelling golf pro? In, bet <laughs> in between each. I don't know. You coined it. In I no, that's what he was described as. I mean, <laughs> along the links, was he constantly telling old stories? No, he w he used to uh, he 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 came back back from teaching all day and he would lie down in the bed with one of us in a room we were three brothers one year apart and he would tell us stories <laughs> at night bed, bedtime stories and those were and that's the reason probably why I'm in this business why I, I keep uh, having tremendous enthusiasm for it because it's stories it's uh, we we tell the stories that are pertinent to our time this uh, is John Foyd currently in Bratz and coming in a riveting movie called September Dawn and on your way home rent a copy of a fine performance he gave in an underappreciated movie called the Odessa file it's nice to see you again Great to see you, Jeff.